Crypto Warriors, it's Dr. Crypto, back at it again. It is the 21st, Thursday, the 21st of January, 2021. Everything is in the red. I'm not even going to scroll, scroll down. Pat, Litecoin, everything is in the red. Bitcoin took a big dump today. The FUD machine have just been released. The FUD machine have been fudding. Down 10%. It was down a little bit more than that earlier. I think it was like down 14% at one point for the day. 12% for ETH. Even Tether is down. <laughs> Even Tether is down a percentage. A little bit. Uh, Polkadot still is going down for the past 24. XRP, Cardano, and Litecoin. Yeah, everything's just in the red, man. Crazy. Let's get into it. I want to explain to you what a double spend is. If you are new to the space and you're unfamiliar with what a double spend is, that's the problem that Bitcoin solved during the 90s when the internet was just becoming a thing. When the, when the internet was being introduced to the public, very smart people tried to come up with some sort of digital cash for the internet, some sort of native currency for the internet. But they couldn't solve the double spend problem. What is a double spend problem? Here it is. Here it is. A valid transaction. Alice sends 10 Bitcoin to Bob and he gets them. All right. Here is a uh, invalid transaction, a double spending, right? Where Alice, she's paying for some something from Charlie, pays him 10 Bitcoin, rewind the blockchain, right? And then pays Bob the same 10 Bitcoin. That's what's called a double spend. Bitcoin solved this pr problem with the Bitcoin network, with the miners, the nodes validating transactions around the world. There are over 10,000, no, actually over 11,000 nodes worldwide, meaning for a transaction to get rolled back, for someone to try to do a double spend, they need to attack over 51% of all the nodes. And let's not forget the miners as well. Okay. And the miners as well. Well, it's mostly the miners. I shouldn't have said nodes, but mostly the miners. Okay. There are miners around the world validating each transaction every 10 minutes. Why did I go into this long explanation for double spend? Because that's what the FUD machine what was spewing today. Yesterday we had Janet Yellen coming out talking about Bitcoin being a used for illicit activities and things of that nature. Now today we're having the FUD machine spread the FUD that a double spend occurred on the Bitcoin network. Satoshi in his, her, their wise wisdom, in their wisdom, figured out how to solve this problem. And the network solves it on its own. We won't get into it right now. This is coming from Coindesk. So it's basically said the double spend never happened. All right. Double spend never happened. And I don't know why we have a technical. There it is. Bitcoin double spend that never happened. No coins were added to the Bitcoin supply as some headlines might lead you to believe. Interest in Bitcoin double spending grew after recent news that the Bitcoin network processed the same Bitcoin in two transactions, the very double spending scenario Bitcoin was specifically designed to prevent. It was specifically designed to, to prevent this. It didn't happen. All the news out there, I'm gonna show you one more right here. Um, double spend spotted in the wild <laughs> and Cointelegraph always have the, the crazy artwork, right? Uh, but it didn't happen. It did not happen. People are selling off their Bitcoin because they think the network is broken. People are selling off their Bitcoin because somebody else sold. You can sell all your Bitcoin if you want to. Go ahead. I'll just gladly buy them up. All right. So the Bitcoin double spend media headline has certainly spooked investors, but it's a misunderstanding of how big the Bitcoin network operates. In this case, a chain reorganization of one block occurred, which is a fairly common occurrence. JC Liu, CEO of OKCoin, okay exchange told Coindesk. Put in another way, no Bitcoin was double spent because no new coins were added to the Bitcoin supply. It's still only ever going to be 21 million people. It's not going to be 21 million and one. Okay. 
that didn't happen today. Calm down. Take a breath. These 20% pullbacks will happen on the way to the top. Relax yourself. Go take a walk. Get away from the screen. Put your phone down, whatever the case is. But take it easy. All right? Uh, what is a Bitcoin block or reorganization? I'm not going to read into all of this, but it just basically is telling us and they, they get real technical on what happened. Uh, not real technical, but a little bit more technical than this channel will like to provide or than I would like to provide, basically, right? But it happened um, with this block number and they even gave the um, the Bitcoin address where you could look to see, see it happen. And here it is. You could click on it. That's what's so amazing about Bitcoin. It's open. You could physically, not physically, but you could check and verify each transaction. And you could do that right here. All right. They, they, they hyperlinked it in the article. And as always, all the articles that I cover today will be linked in the description below. All right. So it went down like this. Someone sent 0.0062. 063 or 62,063 Satoshis to this Bitcoin address, but set the lowest fee possible. <laughs> Cheap bastard said, caused <laughs> confusion trying to send the, the lowest fee possible. All right. So if that means that somebody that's very technical and understands how the Bitcoin network operates and they know how to set their own fees they have a wallet where they could set their own fees and you know that's 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 a good thing but it, it wasn't going through fast enough and then they try to speed up the transaction basically all right and here it is and it breaks it down and shows you the winning chain and all that stuff all right the importance of six confirmations technically the same bitcoin was spent twice in this scenario but one transaction was double spent to an address on a transaction history that the Bitcoin network does not consider valid. If you query the transaction ID for the losing transaction in any Bitcoin block explorer, for instance, nothing comes up, All right? The important thing to know is that yes, there might be different versions of the same transaction, but only one will ultimately be accepted. This is what, this is what Bitcoin was designed to do whoever created this thing they, they they thought of this and they embedded it inside the network this way you can't get the double spend problem and with miners coming online all the time with the nodes all all around the world it'll be hard extremely hard and costly to try to pull off a double spend all right, so there you have it. Again, you want to dig deep into the weeds with this. The article will be linked in the description below. Next. Oh, well, I already showed you guys this. Next. <laughs> All right, pro traders buy the dip as bears push Bitcoin price to the edge of 30K. And this is what, what's happening. We're seeing that Bitcoin drop to damn near 30K and the big whales are the ones accumulating at these lower prices. They're the ones accumulating at these lower prices. They have the money on hand waiting on stand standby to buy the dip. Be careful. Don't sell to these whales with a thousand or more Bitcoin in their wallet. Please. Let's stack as much sats as possible, people. Last but not least, crypto ETP capitalization up 90% this month as institutional volume triples. So with all this bad news going on, we're still seeing institutions buy a lot of Bitcoin and Bitcoin ETP is up over 90% from one month ago. Month over month is up 90%. There isn't a reason to think that uh, um, Bitcoin is going to bottom out and drop to 20K as Guggenheim uh, CFO or whatever um, CIO said in an article yesterday or the day before. Right, don't fall for the okie doke people. We still have still have the, all these institutions buying up the dip 
oh buying buying the bitcoin di directly from you remember but bitcoin is for everyone it isn't for these institutions to hold and you know jack up the price it's for everyone and anyone to get in and be able to use the network remember that all right i'm going to leave all these articles in the comments in the, in the comment section but in the description below let's discuss it it's talking crypto thanks for watching smash that like hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and i'm out peace